Hi, welcome to the show. We're going to make a regular pot of goulash and a veggie goulash. And this pot is going to be the regular. Um, I have got two tablespoons of olive oil and a pound of extra lean ground beef. And we're just going to break this up and brown this up in the pot. While that's doing, I've got this same pot here with two, for our um, veggie goulash, two tablespoons of olive oil. <coughs> We're going to take a Tupperware Power Chef chopper. And I sell Tupperware, so link's down in the bottom description if you're interested in this chopper. We've got carrots, cauliflower, and broccoli. And veggies go in this pot. I start softening. Okay, now we're going to put our blade back in. And our ring on. Lock it in. And I've got two onions, just peeled and chopped into quarters, and one onion to each pot. Alright, there's the onion chopped now. goes in here and then the rest of it goes in here. Make sure I get enough onions in each pot. <clears throat> Let's give this one a stir. <coughs> Get them onions in there. Get them to start softening up too and browning. Same for this pot. Okay. Now we're going to put in some garlic, minced garlic. And I'm going to do about three cloves worth of minced garlic in each pot. I'll put a little bit more on the veggie one because we love garlic. And that's ours. <clears throat> Give them a stir. Someone commented that that's a big container of garlic. Where did you get that at? At the grocery store in the produce section. Walmart and my food city carries it. Kroger carries it. You can get the little jars there or the big one. And they keep for a long time in the refrigerator. <clears throat> cooked up no longer pink and get them onions a little bit soft now if you want to do the in the veggie galosh if you want to put a little bit of <clears throat> of your fake beef crumbles in or some all kind of alternative meat beef flavored by all means you can you don't have to just do veggies all 
All right. I think we can move on with our next step. Okay, in the regular pot, two cans of diced tomatoes with juices. And these are a no, 14.5 ounce can. I choose the petite dice, but you can use any kind you want. Okay, and then in the veggie, you know I have to wash my seeds, so I chopped up four tomatoes, put a little um, tomato juice in here to make two, cut, two cans of diced tomatoes. I have to watch my seeds for the diverticulitis issue. Okay. I think I'm going to pour a little bit more tomato juice in. Because it's not as runny as that can over there. Them cans over there. Okay. Now we're going to put in a can of tomato sauce in each pot. And it's a 28 ounce can. A tomato sauce. <clears throat> Give it a stir a little bit. And now we're going to have to put in some water. We need three cups per pot. There's one pot. Josh says that he watches your shows before bedtime and then gets back up and goes to eat. <laughs> and then there's our other We need some liquid in here because <coughs> um, elbow macaroni goes in here and gets cooked. So you have to have some liquid to cook your macaroni. All right, I'm gonna bring these up till they start get ready to start boiling. While we're waiting for that, we are going to salt and pepper <coughs> each pot to its taste. And usually I use the no salt tomato sauce and uh, diced tomatoes. And remember, we've got a lot of macaroni to season up too. Same with pepper to your taste. Okay. Then let me get my Italian seasoning. Right. About two tablespoons into each pot. And then I know this is a weird ingredient, but we need three tablespoons of soy sauce per pot. And mine was the mushroom soy sauce. But you could use regular or another vegetarian or vegan, vegan one. Jason wants to know if you buy your spices in bulk. Um, I used to. Um, we used to go to Kroger a lot. We don't go there no more because it's, um, it makes me nervous driving down there. It's too much traffic for me. So we've been going locally. Laura wanted to know we if can also, Worcestershire sauce would work in this too. 
that's fine. Yeah, on the regular, but not in the veggie because it's not vegetarian. But there is a vegetarian brand out there. Um, uh, um, we also order some of our spices bulk online, too. You can order that. Let's make sure I got everything in. Okay, I do. And so we're just waiting for... Oh, I forgot my bay leaf. put some dried bay leaves, um, a couple in each pot. That was out of steel. These are tiny. Okay. Okay. So, we're just bringing these up to a bowl. Once they start boiling, then we'll put two cups of elbow macaroni, the dry macaroni in, and then cook it till it's done. And then you got to make sure you take out your bay leaf before you serve it. Because nobody wants to chomp on a bay leaf. I got any more questions, David? One person missed what? Hmm? One person missed what meat substitute you used in the vegetarian kettle. Okay. <clears throat> and wanted to know what meat substitute you used. You could, I didn't put no meat. We did veggies. I chopped up broccoli, car cauliflower, and carrots. You could do mushrooms. Or you could add a meat, your meat, fake meat crumbles. Uh, beef crumbles. Like Morningstar is a good brand. Um, there's other brands out. Judy wants to know um, and so you want if you can use egg noodles. Yes, you can use any noodles. If you want to use the small shell pasta, you can. Um, it just has to be a pound of some kind of meat or veggies in your uh, veggie one and a pound of ground beef. In your regular one. There is a vegan cheese. You can buy vegan cheese mm -hmm. that doesn't have any animal byproducts in it. So you don't have to have like what are the milk in it at all. It's a non dairy, so non animal byproduct. Yeah. Totally vegan. So we're just waiting for this to come up to a boil. And how I'm going to serve this tonight is. A little bowl with this with a side salad and some garlic bread. But you can serve it any way you want to. Some people eat it with crackers. We do it with garlic bread. It's whatever you like. Some people um, ladle theirs out in the bowl on top of shredded cheese. An adult with sour cream, you could do that. We usually don't. Tamsin wanted to know if all the vegetarian meat substitutes are made with soybean. A lot of them are. The ones that I have been getting have soy. I haven't come across any that hasn't had it yet. A lot of them are non-GMO soy products. <clears throat> okay, that one's up to a bowl now, so we can put egg, uh, egg noodles, or macaroni, just the dry macaroni or any kind of pasta you want. Just if you use egg noodles, they quick, quick, they cook quicker than elbow macaroni. There's one cup, two cups. Now that it's up to a good boil, I like to come back up a little bit since I'm stirring. I'm going to turn it down to a little bubble 
and cook until our macaroni is done. Okay, two cups of dry macaroni goes in this one. So it was like a half a box of elbow macaroni is what you're aiming for. And that was like 16 ounces in this whole box. So, so as this one starts coming to up a good bowl again, I'll turn it down too. And let's see. Usually takes about nine, nine, eight to nine minutes for the elbow macaroni to get done. What you all having for dinner tonight? What's for supper? Also make sure while it starts um, cooking your elbow macaroni, make sure you come and start because the pasta likes to stick to the bottom of the pot for a little bit sometimes. The reason this one's taking a little bit longer because it's a little burner on that. Any more questions? Steak. Mushroom gravy, mashed potatoes, pinto beans, cornbread. Someone's ordering pizza, tostadas for one, chicken fajita tacos. Tostados sound so good. I haven't had them in a while. I need to put them on a menu sometime. Chili salsa and red fried beans. Cauliflower with cheese out. and applesauce. <clears throat> Pulled pork, homemade barbecue sauce, and slaw. Brisket, mac and cheese, steamed broccoli with their cheese sauce. The Terran wants to know if you ever used ketchup as a base additive to your goulash. No, I never, I never have. There are really good high quality ketchups out there that are made with like different spices and seasonings and are vegan and are really high, high quality ketchups. They're kind of like mustards. You know, you got your really high quality mustards out there that are not just another bottle of yellow mustard. Well, I still have to go ahead and eat some bowls there. Vegan palate paneer. Hmm? Vegan palate paneer. I love paneer. I wanted to see if I can make it homemade. Um, we go to a little Indian place couple times a year and I always get the oh what is that one I get with the paneer in it I don't remember and that exactly good tomato we saw it's good yeah that's my fave so 
we're just waiting for our macaroni to get done. It's not done because I can tell it's not puffed up a little bit yet. Yeah. Still small. Bailey wants to know if you have an Instant Pot. Yes, I do, Bailey. I've been looking on Pinterest for some Instant Pot vegetarian recipes. And maybe some regular recipes too. <clears throat> One viewer says that there is a ketchup in the Filipino region. Of... That's sweet and banana? Yes. Yes, I have heard of it. And I've seen other people on YouTube use it. I'd have to find out what the name is and order it. Because we can't get none of that like around in our area. That would be really good. But then, but then I make ketchup. It sounds wonderful. And I'm not mocking you. It actually sounds really, really good. People say it is wonderful. Laura wants to know if one day you would mind doing a veggie curry. I have one, a, a couple of them on my life. I'm not my, yeah, but if our, we have our cheapy and lemongrass right, curry yeah. Yeah. up on YouTube. I've got, I think it's sweet potato something. I'm not sure. But I'll look and see which ones they are. What kind of veggies you want in your curry? One with mushrooms and carrots, but I can't remember. I'll have to look and see which flavor that I want done. How I haven't done nothing. The yellow, yellow curry. Them, am I, if you see my grocery haul, I got the yellow carrot uh, curry um, bullions, vegetarian ones. So maybe we might, do, we might do a yellow curry. Margaret wants to know what's your favorite kitchen utensil. I love my bit chopper from Tupperware. The big one, the power chef that I use to chop my veggies, and the small one, the prepping chef. Um, is that a utensil? Or is that just a gadget? Probably a utensil. Utensils are gadgets in their own way. And vice versa. It's starting to do. It's starting to get a little bit big. I just want a noodle to break in the noodle. <laughs> See if I can cut it yet. Nope. It's not done yet. What's your favorite spice? Garlic and onion powder. They tie. And then if I had to pick like after that, it'd be the exotic spices like garam masala and uh, curry powders and all kinds of stuff like that. A noodle in that one. Beth wanted to know if you've ever made homemade pierogies. Um, I have, and I don't think I did it right because my dough, they were real puffy, and the, usually the dough is thin, 
a little bit. I don't think I rolled them out enough. But it's a lot of hard work. And Jamie hates pierogies. I don't know why. But I always did the um, cheese and potato ones. But he hates them. I don't understand why. <laughs> so if I do pierogies, I always get the um, frozen ones, the potato and cheese, for myself because Jamie don't eat them. When we were asked if we like Tex Mexican, yes, we love Tex Mex food. Mm hmm. My favorite dish that Sarah cooks is a chicken spadini. Hello from West Virginia to Colorado. I haven't made that in forever. Mm. We're getting there. I know this is a crazy question, Sarah, because bologna is a delicacy. I mean, it is bologna. truly a delicacy. And someone asked what our favorite bologna is, and my favorite bologna is actually Cavalier brand bologna. Now, when we used to eat bologna, I like the garlic one, and I like the German brand. Can't remember what it was called. Sorry, it's taking so long on the noodles. And as your noodles sit in a pot, they'll swell up even more. So make sure when they're done, push them off the heat. Because then you don't want your noodles too mushy. Be happy today, wanted to know if you could make Alton Brown's white trash recipe for Valentine's Day using Valentine pink theme M&M's and Ghirardelli white chocolate. I'll have to look that up and that sounds pretty good to make a sweet treat for Valentine's Day. And I'm sorry that I haven't asked her yet. Be happy today. I'm sorry that I did not ask her yet, and I'm, I was not ignoring you. That noodle you. wasn't done on that I pot. was not ignoring Let's you. Let's get a noodle for it's this just, pot. There were so many people with so many questions, and it was my pleasure to ask her for you if she's willing to do that for a Valentine's nope. Day episode of the show. About two or three more minutes, and then I'll be done. I would really like that recipe, and I don't even know when it goes in it because I've not seen Alton Brown make that recipe, nor have I looked it up on Food Network's website, but... It sounds like something we'll really enjoy making for everybody to enjoy for Valentine's Day. Debbie says they're having steak tomorrow, Debbie Altman, which is a very any very of you vegetarian or vegans. Um, Doris sent me a vegetarian meatloaf like a veg a vegetarian loaf and so I'm gonna put it on the menu for next week. This week's already if you see my grocery haul meal plan, you know what we're having this coming week. And my meal plan starts on um Saturday and goes to the next following Friday. Um I need a recipe for a fake steak. 
so I can make it homemade. I've tried all kinds of brands, veggie and vegans, vegetarian and vegans out there, and I don't like either one of them. There's a funky taste, and it's like an aftertaste that you, stays with you forever. So, if you may, I know some, a lot of them use vital wheat, gluten, tomato paste, and stuff, but I cannot have any um, nuts or seeds unless I crush them like fine powder in my Vitamix. So, help me out out there, please. Did you record your ham salad recipe? I think it's on <clears> there. Not combination salad, but ham salad. Mm, no, I think the combination is the only thing I use. I, did, I don't think I did the ham salad. You could use the recipe for the combination salad where she used bologna and just swap out the bologna for ham. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I did or not. I don't know. There's just, made ham salad, but there's I don't a search if box. Enough. If you go to my YouTube channel, there's a search box where you can type it in and see if it pulls up. If not, I will put that on the menu. Not for me and Jamie, but I, when I have guests come over, that's something. Yes. Um, they can eat. Um, and then I'll find me a. We'll have tofurkey sandwiches. Yeah, I'll find me a fake to do up the same way. Alright, I think it's almost done. Almost one more, less than a minute left. I'm going to hit and turn it off because the residual heat from the bottom of the burners in the pot will finish less than a minute. You both can be happy today. <laughs> and I do look forward to that top. recipe too, Alton Brown's White Trash. I look, I look very failure. forward to it. Right. In fact, <laughs> If we could, we'd stop making goulash now and make white trash. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I have white, any um, white chocolate. So here's the veggie goulash. I'm going to ladle me some in a bowl. And if you think it's too runny, remember the noodles will finish soaking up all the other broth. They got me hungry for white trash, Sarah. But that's veggie. The veggie one. And you can serve it with anything, like I said. And then let me get the ladle and put it in the other one. Here is the regular. Thank you, Marianne. I hope you have a good weekend, too. We hope everybody has a good weekend. All right. I'm going to sign off now because I've got to chop some lettuce, and, the, and my company will be here soon. Don't forget it. My, my Joy Live tonight on my Paparazzi Facebook channel at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Drop by. You don't have to buy anything. Come and join the group. 